I would like to tell the Prime Minister he may have to do what he do, but Sylvia Williams ain't take it. They had to do what he had to do, but me may want it. Okay. okay? But those who like the the um the policemen and the nurse, I would like them to get back their job too. I understand because everyone have children to support. Teachers. Okay, so I will like teachers, police, and the nurse get back their job too. Just like how he call us, he could call them too, back to their job. I was saying that I feel happy to be back. I feel happy to be back. I feel real happy to be back. Because I feel um I feel I'm one of the guys who um who sparked the thing. Right? Because I took the matter forward a little bit. You know, so I feel I'm one of the guys who sparked the thing so that everybody can come back who all was home. You were one of the workers who had to go home yes. last year. Yes. So if you could tell us when the last day on the job? I think it was the 29th of November, the last day. When I came to work, they told me that I cannot work anymore because I'm not vaccinated. So I left and I went home. So um, I had a... Um, but basically I had an exemption, right? I had a um, religious exemption pending, right? So, um, but um, when I went by the um, service commission who deal with the exemption, they said we're not, we're not in that bracket. We're not in that bracket for be vaccinated and leave work, right? So um, what happened is that um, the lady, I can't remember her name now, but she told me that we'll have to be reinstated, right? We have to be reinstated. Because we're not a part of that. We're not frontline workers to say. Can you explain a little bit more about um, why you didn't want to take the vaccine? Well, well, you see, the vaccine is a thing that I didn't really trust, right? Um, I didn't trust the vaccine and I didn't trust the persons behind the vaccine, right? And um, I heard of a lot of complications that took place after people have taken the vaccine. So I decided to exempt myself from that. How did it feel to have to make that decision? Well, it was it was a hard decision to make because at this time I build in my house and um, I have four children and my wife, so it was a hard decision to make. But I stand on the, the, the principle that what I believe and stood stand and believe that God will see me through. How long have you been working in the sanitation department? Well, I was working here for the past five or six years around there. Started to work in 2016. Yeah. What were you doing in the months that you were home? Well, I was just spending some time. I was just spending some time on my house, because trying to rebuild my house. Um, a couple of months ago, last year, to be a fact, my house in Washwood. So I was trying to rebuild my house, right? So it, it, it put a strain on me, seeing that no money is coming in, but all the money is going out. But I have an understanding that they will repay us for all the days that we were home. So which was a good thing. Yeah. And how did it feel when you heard that you were gonna be able to come back? Well <laughs> it brought a lot of joy to me. Um um it it, 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 it hit shockwave to to, to to um to, to the people and them close to me and around me, especially my family, because um I will tell you something. I knew I was gonna come back, right? But I didn't knew the time. But I knew I was gonna come back. I have faith in God. I know He would have seen me too. But it was a joy. And the greater part of it is when they say that they will have to repay us for the time that we were home because they're saying it was a mistake, which I don't believe it was a mistake. It was, I don't believe it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. And did they tell you how much compensation that will be, what the figure is? Well, I, they never tell us the compensation figure. But the thing is, it, I believe that it will be just for the three months that we were home. Because we were home for three months. Did they say when? No, they were... no, they may say when. But I hope, it, I hope they release it as soon as possible. Yeah, because we need to be compensated and we need our monies. And you are working in the sanitation department? Right? Yeah, I worked there for five years, permanent. And then after the corona thing come in, I went to my job on the 22nd of November. So they told me, I cannot work because I don't take the vaccine. So I went home back and from that since I went home back, 
I um <clears throat> they home all the time so in December I went back down here. I went to Mr. James and I asked him how I will get my money for the five years I did permanent the health department working. He tell me he cannot do nothing to that. I said so I work five years and just throw down the drain just like that. He said he don't know. So I say, me ain't taking the vaccine, you know, because me ain't taking any vaccine because I don't believe we're supposed to take no co no um, vaccine. Because we're there on the street all the time to Corona and nobody never study us. So me ain't taking any. So he say, okay, if you're not taking any, fine. At home, you're going to have to stay. So I say, fine. So I did home, Francis, the 27th, 2nd of November until the ending of February. So they called me that Tuesday, which is the 1st of March, and asked me if I could come back to my job. And I tell them, yeah, I will come back. When you, got, when you received that call, what, what were your first thoughts? When I received the call from Mr. Tony, I say, hello. He say, this is uh, Mr. Tony from health department. I said, Mr. Tony, what happened now? He say, I let her be upstairs, say, you're liable to come back for your job. And if you are the job, you could come back for your job. I tell him, of course, I need my job. But I had to take the vaccine. He said, no, no vaccine, but just put on your mask and your gloves. And then you could come into your job. So he tell me I had to see Mr. Hazel. That is Pat. And talk to him. And when he tell you, you had to do it. So I call, go on my phone at the same time and I call Mr. Hazel. So Mr. Hazel say, Miss Williams, um, the, all the permanent workers in sanitation and call back and uh, you are liable to come back also. So I say, so when I come back, Mr. Hazel, I get in the vaccine, he said, no. So he said, whenever you want to come back to your work, you could come back. So I say, I come in back. If I could work this evening, I come in. He say, yes, you could come in. So I say, I come in to work this afternoon. Yeah, so he yeah. say, okay then. Uh -huh. So I, I did here up to today, day. still going. <laughs> and uh, how was it like the months that you were home? Well, when I been home, I been just, I was thinking about the, my, work, my job because my job helped me a lot. You understand? And I love my job. I love my job because mm, sometimes people just tell me they may go go sanitation and work. I just say, why is money? I just say, all you have to do put your money to use and you will see what you get. Okay? So I love my job. I did, since I, my children are small, I work in here. I used to work part time, like a three months, two months. I work here since 1995 hard time. I have a good time home. Yeah, but I say it's hard for me for see I don't work some more years and just straight down the jail. So everybody has said, girl, <clears throat> are you going to leave here? You don't work with the government for five years and you leave it, sir? Me do say, what am I going to do? I'll scrape all ass. Me go say I had to dead leave money. So me ain't going to fight down nobody. Me never fight down with Prime Minister. We say goes. 